I'm going to show you how I trade cheap credit spreads and make anywhere from $3,000 to $5,000 every single month and how I do it by only risking $25 per trade. So first off, what do I mean by cheap credit spreads? I mean credit spreads that are further out of the money and are cheaper. When they're cheaper, you have a higher win, win rate, but that means that you also have a higher risk or a higher amount that you can lose. You've probably experienced this before if you try trading cheap credit spreads where you have a lot of winners in a row and then the one loser you have takes away all your profits and more. So I'm going to show you exactly how I trade uh, cheap credit spreads safely and only risking $25. I'm going to show you how I structure the trade, the strategy I use, and everything in depth. So let's dive into the video. So part one, let's do a brief overview of credit spreads for those who don't know. Credit spreads is essentially betting that a stock will stay above or below a certain level. This means that if it's a put credit spread, so put credit spread, means that I'm betting the stock will stay above a certain level. So let's say this is what the stock's doing. And let's say I think the stock will stay above this support level. And what I do is I put a level here. This is my credit spread level. As long as the stock stays above this level, I make money. So that means that if the stock goes up, I make money. If the stock goes sideways, I make money. If the stock goes down but stays above my level, I make money. The only time I lose money is when the stock goes below my level. And so this is why credit spreads are amazing because you have a naturally high win rate because no matter what the stock does, almost any time you can actually make money. And the same thing with, with call credit spreads but to the other side. Let's say the stock is trending down. A call credit spreads means you're picking a level you think the stock will stay below. So let's say I think it will stay below this resistance. So as long as, as, as long as the stock keeps going down, I'll make money. If the stock stays the same, I'll make money. If the stock goes up but stays below my level, I'll make money. The only way I lose money is if the stock goes way above my level and then breaks it. So this is what credit spreads are. Betting that a stock will stay above or below a certain level. If you're right, you make money. If you aren't, you lose money. Now, what are cheap credit spreads? It shows you how much you're risking. So what is this? It means that each credit spread totals up to a hundred dollars so if you're trading a one dollar wide credit spread it totals to a hundred so what does this mean it means that if you have the chance to make fifteen dollars on on a trade for a credit spread that means that you're risking eighty five dollars because it adds to a hundred so if you're stand to make fifteen dollars then you also stand to lose eighty five and so the less money you collect the further away from the stock price you are so for instance let's say this is our stock and again, right here, we're really close to the current stock price. Here we get further away and here we get further away. Remember, for a credit spread, we make money as long as the stock stays above our level. So again, this one is more likely to get hit than this one down here, the, 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 this level down here. Why? Because it's further away. If it's less likely to happen, we're going to make less money because um, it's less likely to happen. And so we make money by something not, not, not happening, aka the stock not going below the level. So here, we could, let's say, collect $30 and risk 70 Here, we could risk maybe 20, uh, make 25 and risk 75 Here, we could probably make $15 and risk $85. So you can see the further away from the stock you go, the less money you make and the higher your risk is in relation to that. So what are cheap credit spreads? Cheap credit spreads, when we go really far out, like this $15 level, where we're trading a $15 credit spread and we have a super high risk. So again, I like to trade this one right here in the middle, this $25 range, but I will take this one down here if I can at times. So let me explain the strategy behind this. So if I go to a stock chart here, what I'm looking at is let me remove the specifics of this uh, little right thing right here. Um, so what I'm looking at is a simple stock chart and what I do is I use a moving average to determine what the current trend is. So again, I use a simple 10 period moving average. What this does is this shows what the market is doing. If this moving average is pointing up and going higher, I know the market's trending higher. And if it's above it, I know the market's trending higher. If, this, if it's a, the stock or the market, whatever I'm watching goes below this line, I know it's trending down. And so I have this moving average that looks at both the long-term and short-term trend to tell me when to enter in. So I can see here when it's long, white, white when it's short, and gray when it's neutral, aka when the trend's changing and I should stay out. So I have this indicator that I use to actually profit from it. Again, if you want this indicator for free, you can click the link down in my description to get free access to it. But this indicator shows me when to get in. If it's blue, the market's trending up, so I'm gonna get in put credit spreads. If it's white, the market's trending down, I'm gonna get in call credit spreads, as I explained, right? 
So again, if it's if it's blue, it's put. So I'm gonna find a level like this support that I think the stock will stay above. As long as the stock stays above this level, I, I make money. The same with call credit spreads when the stock turned white. I'm gonna put it at resistance. If the stock stays below this level, I make money. So that's how amazing and simple these credit spreads are. Now, how do I structure a trade so that I only lose $25, right? So let's go and set up a trade right now like we were to set this up. Let's say we wanna put on a put credit spread trade just for a pure example example this doesn't follow the, the the strategy but i just want to give a, a good example because we can see here this looks like a support level so 408 is our support level so let's go to Robinhood and i'll show you how to actually put on a, a, a credit spread trade and then how i structure it to only lose 25 dollars per trade so if i go into spy I'm going to go into spy, uh, trade spy options because you need to have spy options or options trading enabled specifically margin trading enabled for credit spreads i go over here to builder I'm gonna do a put credit spread, right? Because I think the stock will move higher because this is my support level. So I think the stock's going to move higher. Again, this is just an example. So I'm gonna go here to put credit spread. That means betting a stock will stay above a certain level. Now I'm gonna go out about nine days. That's my average. So about nine days where it says 9D, nine days, the structure of this credit spread. And like I said, my support level. So my support level, right, I said 408. So if I find that 408 level, 408, 407 right here is my level. So you can see here, I can enter this trade and it's around 21 cents. So to enter this trade, I'm gonna be collecting about 21 cents to put on this trade. So that means they're gonna give me roughly $21 to put this trade on. Now, that means as I've explained before, I should add up to $100. So if I stand to make $21, then that means that my risk on this trade is what $79 right that's supposed to be a dollar sign $79 cross that out. so if I stand to make 21 and stand to lose 79 how do I decrease this 79 down to a lower amount so that whenever I lose I'm only offsetting one winner instead of multiple winners right because if I were to keep this trade as is and not change it then that means I can make $20, uh, $21 over and over and over again. But then when I have a loss of $79, it would take away three to four winners of profits that I made. And that would suck. So how do I structure this the way I do to only risk $25? Well, I keep the same exact trade set up as I have here, where I am going to make $21, but I limit the amount that I can stand to lose. So what is the amount I can stand to lose? Well, it's $79. Well, let's walk through an, an example here using the levels that I previously discussed. Let's say we have a stock. Remember, a put credit spread is me betting that a stock will stay above a certain level. Well, what happens if this level breaks? What happens if the level I picked the stock goes below it? Well, that means that the trend is no longer going in, in, in our favor, right? Like I picked this, this 408 support level. Why? Because I think the market could bounce here. Well, if the stock breaks below it and breaks down underneath this level, what does that mean? It means that the stock is now going against my trend. If I bought here because I think it's going to start trending up and it breaks it, this means it's now trending down. So there's no reason for me to hold on to a credit spread trade if the trend is going against me. So whenever my strike price is broken, aka the level that I picked for a stock to stay above or a stock to stay below, once that level gets broken, I exit the trade. When I exit a trade at that level, your loss, you actually have to buy back at 50 cents. So if you enter at 21 and you can exit for a stop loss at $50, or how much do you lose? Well, the difference, you lose $29. So again, that's for this example. For the, so now our loss changed from $79 to $29 because of the stop loss I have. So now I stand to make $21. I stand to lose $29 because I set a stop loss at my level. Again, when your stop loss hits that level, or when the stock breaks that level, the credit spread is trading around 50 cents. So that means I know I, I can exit at 50 cents. So that means that my loss now goes from 79 to 29, which means one winner and one loss are roughly equivalent. So now I dramatically decrease my losing trade. So what does this do to my win rate? Well, by default, I have a really high win rate, right? Well, my win rate goes down a bit because I'm getting out of trades early and not giving them time to work, 
but I shorten my losers by so much. I go from an $80 loss to a $30 loss, which is a, a, a like I literally shrink my loss by over 50%. And because of that, this trade works out well when you use the trend, when you base it on support and resistance levels, and when you trade it like that. So this is how I trade cheap credit spreads. I bet on a level around or near support or resistance, depending on what I'm trading you put or call credit spread. I structure that trade to where I enter the trade around $20 to around $25. This is my golden range that I look for to enter a trade. I go to about nine DTE, nine days out. This is the golden ratio where I can kind of get in that trade, collect some theta, but also reach that theta de de decay point where I'm collecting a lot of theta, but still have some left. And this is how I structure those trades so that I have a stop loss so that my loss is limited. So this is how I trade cheap credit spreads to make anywhere from 2000 to 3000 to almost sometimes $5,000, which I've done in a single month using this exact system. So if you want to learn more, I go step by step in detail, the exact rules, strategies, criteria, and I even give you the end, the indicator, everything for free. If you just give me your email and name linked in the description down below, it's called trading alerts plus three free trading tools. If you click on that link, you just need to put in your name and email and you'll get access to all this stuff for free for life. All right, guys, see you in the next video.